Okay, this is part two of my daddy's cool stuff. Now, my dad in the Navy, United States Navy, uh, went to the Orient and he designed a big stereo system that was black enamel with no handles on it. He thought that would be a cool thing and had them build it and had it shipped to the United States to my mom at our house in Seal Beach. California and it was like the thing and it had the reel to reel in it the hi-fi and all that cool stuff and the record player so every time we see an oriental doll we pick it up she's real pretty huh I had this oriental doll, baby doll, that was in my parents' closet up on the top shelf, which I was only allowed to see about once a year. And it was so sad because I never saw it again. I think it was lost in storages or something. And she was out this big with really ooky hair. And then when you tilted her, she went, eee. And she was in a glass case that was like probably a foot high. With black enamel trim, and you open the door and you take her out. She was like probably about that big. Never saw her again. My dad brought that back from Orient. Cadillac. My dad liked Cadillac too. I like El Dorado. So I picked that back for him. And here's some cool decals. My phone is mad. This is a straight talk house phone. This is really cool. It's dirt cheap. It's like $15 a month. You can call all over where. And this is a case of my dad's. With stuff in it. That's a pretty nice case. Looks more like a sextant case. Um, there's Academy of Sailing. Another patch from my parents. Um, sailing school that they opened in Long Beach. There's another scarf I made for him. Probably made it for Christmas or something. Blue, because his uniforms were blue and white. Before that, they were red and white pants. And then blue tops with... Uh, this is my grandmother's TM Tessie Miller. She used to use red nail polish. On everything. Her and her sister used to do that. This is a, some kind of silver plate. This is USS Iowa. This is a hat my dad wore. We went to go see the USS Iowa. All of us together. My youngest daughter. And uh, so there's his hat. Relative movement and the maneuvering board. This is a really old boat. United States Naval something. Can't read it. It's really faded. Naval Institute. Navigation and piloting. My dad may have wrote this. I don't know. I don't know what year this is. It's my dad's writing. My dad coached the sailing team at Annapolis, and he wrote his thesis on how to sail. Or how to teach sailing. And uh, they don't accept that anymore. But he did it and got away with it. Because he wanted to teach people how to sail. 
This is Department of Seamanship and Navigation, Lesson Assignment, First Class, Second Term, Winter 1957 through 58. Look at all these classes. Mine Warfare, Amphibious Warfare, Amphibious Operation, Underway Replenishment, Navy Staff, Navy Operation Planning, Operation Plan and Orders, Preventing Mutual Interference. Double Weight Review Quiz. Here. Commander, United States Navy. R.W. Belt, Jr. Head of First Class Committee. Hmm. Surface Screening Fundamentals. Screening Rules. Method R.U.M. Method Coke, Special Screening Instructions, Submarine Operations, wow, Countermeasures, Terminology, Spiral Searches, Attack Procedures, Operations, Duet and Triplet, Hunter Killer Operations, wow, heavy, wow, Torpedoes, Torpedo Positioning, Pretty cool. So this is one of my dad's school books at the academy. The Naval Academy. Okay. Now, my dad wrote a couple books. This is one of them. Latitude and Longitude at Noon Self-Taught. And one is the question and answer book. The tests. And then with the practicals. And then this is the book he wrote. Latitude and Longitude at Noon, Self-Taught, by Paul James Miller. He's actually the third. That's my dad, shooting a sextant, which I believe that was off the Erickson 35. I think he did this book in the 70s. Yeah, April in 1973. Big, long copy right in there. The author, Paul Miller's interest in the sea, had its origin on a reservoir in the heart of landlocked Oklahoma, where at the age of seven, he and a pal rigged a large floating board into a downwind sailing craft. Years later, he was among the class of 1958 at the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis. During the summers, Midshipman Miller represented the Naval Academy in worldwide racing, that had him sailing and navigating in waters as near as the Caribbean and as far away as England, Spain, France, South America, Hawaii, Japan, and China. Pretty good. I don't know if the same book or this is the one with the fill them out stuff. Nope, this is not the workbook. That's pretty cool. And do you know what? Um, my dad donated one to the library when I went to school at Marina Del Rey Junior High. I'm sure it's long gone by now and probably worth a ton of money now. That's a famous book. Notes. Daily Reminder, 1957. Should we read this? Cities. 1930, 1940, and 1950. I guess that's the census. Rates of income on stocks. Oh, this is a uh, rules of the road for sailing right here. My dad wrote that. Look at that. That's so cool. First 60 days, $100. 150 month rent plus 25 for tax. Does it say wine? No, insurance. Wind ETC 175 a month. $0.20 cent square foot floor space or 10% gross. 
No maintenance or expense. Tax, 1,200 foot square. 70 foot by 18. Hmm. That's properties. This is a big picture that was in one of the display things my dad built for the boat shows that we did. And that's the same thing on that book. Latitude and longitude at noon. Which, oddly enough, that looks more like it's almost at nightfall. This is a cool book. I need to put that in a Ziploc baggie. That's my daddy's school book from the Naval Academy. I bet that was a sextant case. My dad got all the sextants and octants from Buckminster Fuller, who he taught. The man that invented geodesic dome, one of the first electric cars. And was really character. My dad did a whole bunch of cassette recordings of him. Which I would love to have because I was involved in those sailing deals. My dad got $100. $100 a half hour for private instruction or $100 an hour or something like that. It was a hundred for one of the other. Plumbers didn't even get paid that much. But a lot of people like private instruction. My dad's an incredible instructor. So was my mom. And world renowned. I had to literally, when I left home, I had to literally not tell people who my parents were because they really thought we were made of money and stuff. And... I had one boyfriend that apparently only liked me for my dad's wealth and had some odd suggestions on what what he should do and uh, I got rid of that guy. It's pretty creepy. Okay, so like we got this in our titles. PJ's coffee. <laughs> That's some Cadillac parts from my other car, but look at that with his stuff. This is Buckminster Fuller right here. You need to read it on this guy. This guy is brilliant. He was a very older gentleman. My dad taught how to sail. And this guy was amazing. He spent a whole year not talking. And he wrote a book about that too. Critical Path. Um, and he said he did it because he wanted to. He thought he was missing so much in the world by talking. So if he just listened to people, then he would learn so much more. Collecting Dolls, we got that. I don't know if that's my dad's book, but we got that. Um, this is Mama's famous doll collector. Chapman piling, that was a big deal. Chapman stuff. And we got this book. This is a really cool book. Ooh. And it's heavy. We got this. The Navy. It's padded and everything. Love the emblem. And we got that hat, Miller High Life. Yeah. My dad did drink Miller. He'd have one beer at the end of the race because he won. As soon as he was crossing the line, pop that can. Jenny Gold. Anchored in originality, San Francisco. I don't know what that is. This is a pillow that my dad's girlfriend, Jilly Maybon, the English girl, made for him. She would sit at the yacht club there and do that. I guess it's a needlepoint. And she made that for my dad. And I found him a different girlfriend. Gina Marie. I did not want to have that fate. Coast Guard. My dad taught Coast Guard classes. Did a lot of that, got certified, and then started teaching it. And I was, it's been a really big business. This is some shirt of my dad's. 
Hey, that's one of his navy shirts. Let's see. You know what? I think it is. 3688. I think that's the same numbers on his blanket. So he had more of those blankets and his pea coats. I, boy, I'd like to have one of his pea coats. He had some great navy pea coats. Okay. Now, we're going to get to this next shelf. We got this doll. This Oriental girl. To put with his stuff. These were off of my Cadillac. Oh, this guy's cool. He's wood. He's like hand carved wood. <clears throat> Isn't that neat? Oh, hand carved wood. I think my daughter got this for daddy. Captain. The captain. Some trophies. Need to clean anything in. I can't even read it. I think this is a trophy from my parents' boats. Or it could have been from Easy Rider. I'd like to get it replated. Well, let's see what we got in here. Master Yachtsman. It's all wood. Pretty cool. I did a lot of wood burning there. He never asked me to make one like that for him. Oh, Zorro. My dad loves Zorro. El Zorro, si puede. My dad's toolbox. He stole it. I did all these years. He's working in my car. The Lone Ranger. He liked it too, and so did I. Basil Miller. I don't know who this is. Must be somebody related to. I don't know. Oh. Here's another little dolly of my grandma's. She used to make all their little clothes and then hang the jewelry on them and stuff. You know, those, they're like old Civil War dolls, you know? I don't know, they all look like my Aunt Eleanor and my mom, so she's still here. <coughs> These are some wood cars I got from my dad. Send him for his birthday or Christmas or something. He likes MGs. Huge collection of cars. And everybody's like, well, they're, they're like toast now. They haven't run in a while. I'm like, yeah, I'll take a toasty one. This is my way. He called me one time and he didn't have room for all these cars. And storages are expensive in California. I said, look, I got a house with a 15-car driveway. Just bring them on down. Wish we'd have done it. 914 Porsche. Boy, if that wasn't the dog of the year car. Tony Hughes had one of those. My dad had this. This was a 911 Targa. Get a brown one, chocolate brown. I have a picture of it somewhere. Let's see what these cars are. These were all on his cabinet in his room by his drafting table um, when we lived in Rio Del Rey. Um, um, I think it was like 
one, four, six, nine. More cases, way something like that. Another car. That's cool. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be a brick one. You can tell they've been in the sun. They've faded. Okay. Yeah, my aunt Rosanne died. She had left everything to my dad. And somehow or another that got jerked around. This is two hands. It looks like this holds something. A paper or something. I don't know. He probably got that in the islands in his travel. Um, and when she died, she didn't even write me. But some guy, I think that worked for her or something, some, some guy ended up inheriting all her stuff all of a sudden. My dad was pretty fried. That's my... Uh, grandmother's ring and I was with Roseanne when we did this appraisal in 88 819 South Denver that was one of the abstracting companies she had fifty five hundred appraisal back then <laughs> That's a NOLA. She had a house in NOLA. Actually, a, like an apartment over at um, Burgundy and Conte. Right across the street from the Wax Museum place. Let's see. Oh, this is some cool stuff here. I remember what this is. Okay, this is this is a whole bunch of Navy dudes. And this guy right here is my dad. In his uniform. That guy looks mean as fire, huh? These pork pies. Everyone of was brainwashed. Well, this guy's face, he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, man? What is it? Hey, here's my dad. So that'd be like in the 50s. And my dad wore a mustache after my parents split up. And everybody used to mistake him for Robert Redford and Paul Newman. And we got stopped one time in Westwood. And a girl ran up going cuckoo while we were walking with Daddy. And, oh, you're Robert Redford, aren't you? And he, like, signed this thing, Robert Redford. And I'm like, what did you do that for? And he's like, well, it just gave somebody through. <clears throat> like a little boy. 1954 cruise. I guess that's a magazine for the Naval Academy. Boy, if you ever have a chance to travel, that is a neat place to go. The United States Naval Academy in Annapolis. This is the cow. I think he bought that from Julie Maybon. She, for a while, she was letting him lease it for the leasing association so the members could rent boats. And then he, all his boats had the red thing there. He donated a bunch of the Solings, the Olympic class Solings that he used to teach on. Donated them to one of the colleges. And he closed the business back in. Oh, shortly after 05, 2005. And we'll go to part three.